Hey guys, today I'm doing a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right now. I got a ton of comments and questions about the look in Friday's video, um, which is when I was wearing, I was actually wearing this exact outfit, minus the pants are different, but you can't see them, so that's okay. But I was really inspired to do this look by the bright sunshine that we've been having in Ireland, which is like crazy. I think all over the world is having some kind of a heat wave right now, um, but it's amazing for March. It's just like I wake up every morning and I'm happy because it's so sunny and I love sun and I love summer. Um, and spring. I know it's only spring, but it feels like summer already. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this look and um, If you want to know how to do it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I apologize for my hair because I know it probably looks really crazy I just kind of threw it up. I haven't styled it yet or anything Hopefully at the beginning and the end of this video It's all nice and beautiful and styled, but um, I don't know because that's in the future <laughs> For me, I am going to be using this palette which is by my friend from primary school, we go way back, like we were friends when we were 12, and um, I've spoken about her makeup line before, it's Sarah G Cosmetics, and I love her stuff. Like, I know you guys are probably gonna be like, oh, you're just saying that because she's your friend, but seriously, her stuff is really, really good. And I'm not just saying that because I would never do that to you guys. Um, this is highly pigmented, really good quality makeup. I'm so beyond impressed. And this is her new palette. And I love it so much because it's so fun for spring and summer and it's kind of incorporating in like the hot pink trend, the orange, like you know how those colors, those bright colors are really like in right now this season, like um, like a tangerine orange and a hot pink, which I'm wearing my scarf right now. I'm going to go in with the first color, which is this beautiful champagne color here and it's shimmery. All of these are shimmery I believe, yeah. And I'm going to go in with a flat eyeshadow brush. And this one is probably the least pigmented of all of the shadows. Which <clears throat> actually is probably a good thing because you can build it up as much as you want. And if you want to do like a really natural look for daytime, you can definitely just like you know, you can have it toned down or you can amp it up a little bit more for like nighttime, it doesn't really matter. So I just put it into my, onto my brow bone and then I'm going to pop it in here, into the inner corner. I also forgot to say that I already primed my eyes with, um, oh it's not here right now, but it is Max Prep and Prime for eyes. It just looks like this. That's what it looks like. And um, this is not the best eye primer, but I just used it because I have like a ton of it left, so I want to use it all up. Um, but you can prime your eyes with anything. You can even do it with concealer if you don't have a primer. So um, next color I'm going to go in with is the orange, which I love so much. So it's this orange right here, this like beautiful tangerine color. It's got shimmers in it. Um, this does come with like a brush and a little sponge tip applicator, but I don't really use them. So I'm just going to put that right onto the lid and you can see just how pigmented these colors are. I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. Now I'm taking this angled brush. Um, these are all from the 12 piece pink Sedona Lace professional brush set by the way. Um, I will link that down below if you're interested but um, in case I don't remember to say that every time. So they're all by Sedona Lace. So this is the angled brush and I'm going to go in with this beautiful pink. It's like this hot pink that's kind of like a little bit frosty because it's got a lot of shimmer to it. So I'm just going to put that over top of the orange. Kind of a little bit above and into my crease because I have quite hooded eyes. So I want it like a little bit above. I realize I probably look like a total clown right now. But anyways, taking a pencil brush. And this is the same technique that I use in most of my tutorials, but I'm going to go into that a little bit later of what different techniques you can use because I know it's like kind of the same. Um, but I'm going in with the brown, which is a gorgeous like bronzy brown. And then I'm just going to put that into the outer V. So this with this one you might get a little bit of fallout, but this is going to intensify the eyes and just kind of like intensify that, yeah, I'm getting lots of fallout here, um, intensify that hollow of, like, your crease. But I'm going to go in with the same one, 
and the same brush and I'm gonna look up and put it like right here on the outer kind of like two thirds or I don't know, just the outer part of the lower lash line. Now I'm taking the flat eyeshadow brush that I used with the orange and I'm actually gonna take some more of the orange right here and place it on like the middle part of the lower lash line. So kind of everywhere that you didn't apply the brown except for right in here because you don't want a big blob of orange in the <laughs> inner corner. So next thing I'm gonna do is take a clean fluffy brush Make sure it is clean. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and just kind of blend these colors out a little bit, but I don't want to blend them too much because I don't want to get rid of the pink. I just want it to be a little bit softer. Now I'm taking the Ico Graffiti Eyeliner Pencil in black. That's what that looks like. And um, it's what the one with the felt tip that I used in my winged liner tutorial. And I'm just gonna line the top lids, but I'm gonna do a really faint line because, or not faint line, but a very thin line because I want the colors to really pop out and I don't want to like, you know, take over the look with liner or anything. When that's done, I'm gonna take a pencil liner. I'm just using Impala's waterproof eyeliner um, in black. And I am using black because this is quite a dramatic look. It's not very, um, it's not really that good for daytime actually, even though it is daytime right now. Again, I apologize for the big shadow here. I swear this eye is not darker than that one because it's the shadow. Okay, okay so I'm just going to tight line. Next, I'm using the Sarah G Super Lash Mascara in black. And I love her mascaras. Like, I have the one in brown as well, and it's just amazing. It's as good as my CoverGirl Lash Blast. Like, they are totally comparable to each other. I'm amazed by the formula, honestly. It's so thickening and it just makes your lashes, it separates them all perfectly, it's amazing. I'm also gonna do the bottom, like always. Just the same as I always do. Okay, and that is the eyes done. So hopefully you can see kind of what it looks like. Um, it's really just a, Kind of like a sunset eye. This is what I want to call it, is a sunset eye. It's got like the hot pink and the um, the tangerine orange and also some brown and some other colors in there. But um, it's still kind of like, it's still wearable, you know? It doesn't look crazy. It doesn't look like clownish, at least not in my opinion. Maybe you guys disagree. There's actually a bronzer and a blush in this palette and both are really good. They're very pigmented. Um, I'm going in with the bronzer with my angled brush and it's completely matte. This one right here. And these are so pigmented so you have to be careful. Because when I first used it, I put on way too much and I looked crazy and I had to tone it down. So I'm just gonna pop that into, see how pigmented that is, seriously. I'm not actually blending yet. I'm just gonna put it where I want it. So into the hollows of the cheeks, onto the temples and forehead. And then right here, and I'm gonna start blending this now. This is into the jawline and down my neck, just to match up, because my neck is so pale right now. I'm just gonna blend that down and then I'm gonna start blending this because right now it looks crazy and I look like a drag queen. So, and these blend actually really easily. Not difficult to blend. This is her face and body glow in the shade Golden Patina and I love this, but you have to be careful with it. Um, it's basically just like a shimmery all over powder or like bronzer. And that's what it looks like. This, a little bit of this goes a very long way. Do your face brush, this big fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna swirl it into the lid. Now, you're gonna wanna just wipe off a little bit of the excess on your hand because a little bit of this does go a long way. So I'm just gonna put it like all over. Kind of like 
copying where I did on like the contouring bronzer. Um, just bring it up to my forehead, my nose, down my nose. This is from the Sedona Lace Vortex collection. It's just the blush brush or the face brush, whichever. Um, and I'm going to go in with the blush color, which is this beautiful pink. And again, this super pigmented. So I'm just going to smile and just pop it on. That's already probably going to be enough. See what I mean? It's super pigmented. Sarah G's Lip Pout in Crystal Pink. That's what that looks like. So we're going to try this. And I really like this color. It's like the perfect shade of pink because it's not too loud. But it just gives you the right hint of color. So that is the completed look. Um, I hope you guys like it. It is super easy to do. You just have to have the right technique. Um, what you can also do with this palette though, which is really cool, is you can actually do a kind of like um, smoky eye. This isn't a smoky eye. This is more like a cut crease kind of eye. But um, you could do a smoky eye if you used all the colors like um, from darkest, like working from the darkest up until the lightest. Um, you could do that. Um, check out my Ashley, I think it's Ashley Olsen tutorial if you want to know that technique. Or you could do something really, really natural for daytime and just use these two colors here, the two neutrals. Um, and maybe not the blush and just the bronzer or something like that. Um, so it's a really versatile uh, palette. So I will link the website to where you can buy this down below. Um, and thank you so much, Sarah, for sending me your lovely products. I love them so much. Um, and... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Don't forget to check out pictures on my blog and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.